Were the Royals kicked out by Tyler Perry? Who is this person and what he has to do with the life of the Royals? Meghan and Harry have something troubling them. It's been hectic for the pair for the past few years, but what happened this time? And why were they kicked off? Let's look into the matter only on Royal Stories. According to Tyler Perry, seeing the treatment of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry by the British royal family is akin to the abuse he witnessed while his mother was the victim of domestic violence. All the things a batterer would do, the millionaire said of the royal family's decision to cut off the Sussex Six money and stop their security. The 53-year-old actor claimed he understood the symptoms of abusive control and manipulation from witnessing his alcoholic father Emmett's treatment of his late mother, Maxine. Both of them aimed at Prince William, King Charles, and the late Queen who passed away in September following a long and distinguished reign. She was abused, Perry said of Meghan and Harry. Equally confused he was. It was obvious and I was aware of the warning signs. My mother was a victim of abuse for a long period of time, and I witnessed it." Previously, Perry disclosed that his alcoholic father, Emmett Perry, beat him so badly as a toddler with a vacuum cleaner cord that the skin ripped off his back. This abuse extended to Perry and his mother, Maxine. To use the institution to try to do all the things a batterer would do, he said, like, here's what we're going to do, we're going to cut off the money not leave you with security, and we're going to do all those things to make you conform and come back. I was impressed that they both have the guts to say, I don't give a damn if it's the palace, I'm out of here. The day before his daughter's wedding, Perry contacted Meghan to give his congratulations. Not until after Meghan and Harry had been married for two years did she call Perry to express her fear. After this discussion, Perry disclosed that he'd given the couple his $18 million Beverly Hills home to use as their residence once they renounce their royal status. Perry spent $4.3 million for a Tuscan-style mansion with eight bedrooms, 22 acres of land, and 24,000 square feet of interior space in 2004. Perry said this of the pair while they were staying on Vancouver Island. They just wanted to be free. They yearned for their liberty to pursue love and joy. They were flying blind. There was no preparation. In addition, Perry mentioned that Meghan had contacted him sobbing and confessed her fear. That terror was audible to me. It could be felt. I could hear it, Perry declared. So I finally got the courage to ask her what it was she was so worried about. After taking a deep breath, she began naming her fears. Then I told her, you're right to be afraid. All of your concerns are warranted. In the documentary, Perry revealed his limited knowledge of the British royal family by saying that he witnessed Princess Diana being thrown to the wolves after the dissolution of her marriage. To validate Meghan's emotions by acknowledging them was painful, he said. It pained me to even consider telling her that. It pained me to think that she might be experiencing that, but I also didn't want to lie to her about it. She worried that they would either ruin her or drive her mad or at the very least make her believe that this was happening. In a statement made by Meghan to the show, Perry assured them that they would be safe in his Beverly Hills estate, and that he would arrange security for them. They were only planning on staying for a week, Meghan claimed, but he was all, you're not going to stay for a week. I'll get you there safely and keep you there until you have somewhere to go, and you can stay as long as you like. And while it was very kind of Tyler, who said to be worth $1 billion to offer his home to the royal family, he was in no danger of being homeless because he owned so many other buildings. A log house in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and a 40,000 square foot mansion in Atlanta, Georgia with 8 bedrooms and 12 bathrooms are just two of the properties in his remarkable real estate portfolio. The pair stayed at Perry's house for six weeks before constructing a fence to keep the photographers out when word of their whereabouts leaked. The Outcast Royals spent $14 million on a fortified mansion in Montecito, California. That's it for today's video. If you wanted to see more such videos, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.